The Redskins would have a one and a half game lead on the defending Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles after seven weeks of the season. Before this season, our football power index gave them an 8% chance of winning the division. Now, it's a 30.6% chance. So joining us now to talk about the great start is Redskins safety DJ Swearinger. So, DJ, what was your team? What was your sideline saying about the nonsense? I'm sorry, I mean controversial penalty penalty called against the Cowboys before Dallas missed the game time field goal. Oh man, we didn't really matter. You know, we just knew it would be a harder kick. Um, glad it, it, it happened because, you know, I feel like if it was five yards close, it definitely made it. We would have went in the overtime, but hey, the ball rolled where it rolled, man, and we got a W. Do you, DJ and Stephen A, man, thanks for being on the show. Here's the question. How good do you believe your Redskins team is this year? I mean, y'all in first place. Are the expectations now? I mean, are they there for you guys to take this division and really, really make some noise? Is that how y'all are feeling about yourselves right now? Yeah, we're definitely feeling good about ourselves, but we're not getting too high. You know, it's only the start. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. And uh, we, got, we, we, we got on a good start, and um, it's, it's, it's good for our confidence. But, you know, the thing around this building has been consistency. You know, we got to do a good job of staying consistent when we win, not getting too high, not getting too low. So um, I think the focus this week is, you know, stay, stay low, stay on the grind, and um, get ready for New York because they're a good team. That sounds very level-headed, DJ, and thanks for joining the show, as Stephen A. mentioned. Um, but I'm hearing quotes about this could be the best defense since the Ravens in 2000. I mean, you got the Ravens in 2018, your neighbors to contend with still in terms of who has the best defense. Can you, can right. you illuminate that quote a little bit? Yeah, yeah, that's what I've been saying since the start of the season. Um, anytime on the defense, man, you want to – you know, the 2000 Ravens set the standard of, of defense, you know, scoring on defense, uh, dominating on defense, and that's the mindset of, as the Washington Redskins. You know, we want to stop the run early, and when we lock up in the back end, you know, we want to let those flight marshals, you know, do our – we, we want to do our thing in the back end. So, well, you, you know, know, the formula you, has been, you know, defense. Well, you're definitely the number three team uh, defensively against the run, number seven overall defensively, 13th against the pass, but mm -hmm. we, won't, we won't focus on that. I want to know what justification do you think you guys have to be recognized as one of the elite defenses in all of football? I, I want to know why y'all feel that way about yourselves. Oh, cause man, we we stopping the run, man. We uh, you know, we got the Alabama wall up front along with uh, Ionitis, you know, you know the Vet 91, you know who that is, and um, Preston mm -hmm. Smith, man. And with those linebackers in the middle, man, them, them boys do they do their thing. And um, you know, in the secondary, we got players. So I feel like you know, with chemistry, man, this defense can take it to the top. You know, we want to be the number one spot, so we just got to keep grinding. We savvy on defense, and we gonna keep rocking. So you know, we just gotta keep keep rolling. Mm -hmm. As a member of the defense, you can speak on that, obviously, and you have. What about the mm -hmm. offense in this era of crazy offense? You look at the Rams, you look at the Chiefs, you look at the Patriots. If Le'Veon mm -hmm. Bell comes back, the Steelers. Do you guys have right. the offense to hang with the elite teams? Well, you know, our offense, you know, they're going to give us what they're going to give us. We got a good quarterback in Alex Smith. You know, they're going to come around for us. You know, they're doing what we need on the defensive side of the ball, man. We're not, we're not expecting them to go out and score 100 points. You know, as a defense, we want to shut people out, you know, and limit them to 14 points a game. And, you know, if we do that, you know, our offense can give us two, three scores a game, and that's all we're expecting. You know, as a defense, we're not going into the game expecting anything from the offense, man. We're trying to pitch that shutout every time we step out. So, you know, whatever the offense gives us is good but we're trying to score on defense every game I understand that DJ you want to pitch a shutout that's fine but you do have a different quarterback this year can you just tell me what's the biggest difference right. in your estimation between Alex Smith and Kirk Cousins you know, Alex, Alex is a, he's, he's a veteran. You know, he's definitely a veteran. He has command of the offense. You can tell once he got here, you know, he was a guy that, you know, command the offense. You know, he knows where he wants to go with the ball. Um, he he manages, manages the game. You know, this is the first year that we, you know, we sit down on the bench a lot. So, you know, that's great for our defense. When we get rest, you know, it's, it's love. It's all love. And, you know, AP, man, running that thing, man, you know, that's the that's Hall of where Fame. I was that's going. So, yeah, yeah. So we that's got where AP I in was going. I, I, I need, I'm sorry <laughs> it's to hard interrupt. To but Man. before I let you get out here, I got to give yeah. Adrian Peterson some love. Averaging more than four yards a carry. Man. He's supposed All to be day. the elder statement. He got a lot left. What has that done for you guys inside that locker room to see AP performing the way that he's been performing this year? 
Man, it gives the team a lot of juice. Um, anytime we see AP jump, cutting and doing what he's doing, you know, a man among boys is how he run the ball, man. He's been doing it for a long time. You know, a lot of people been hating on him, but you know, he, you know, he answering all the answering all the haters with his play, man. And um, you know, we keep getting AP the ball 15, 20 times a game, and our defense play lights out, man. That's the formula for success. All right, DJ, we appreciate you jumping on today, giving us a little bit of time. We wish you luck this season. Yes, sir. Thanks for and having you me. And you know, I got nothing but love for y'all for beating the Cowboys. And then yeah. ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We got to keep it rolling, please. man. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong know. with that. Giants are out of it. Beat the Cowboys, please.